Knox Box. Everything you need to get your game from the box to the board. So, uh, last we did a proper update for Knox Box was I think day five, which is a bit embarrassing. It's now month two. So this is amazing. Thank you everyone that supported us. One of the biggest parts is we are now a Friday Night Magic approved venue. We have our first ever Friday Night Magic on the 4th of April, it's sealed. And then every Friday they'll be in here like clockwork. Now, after all of the feedback I've had from all the regulars, we have now got our core lines. So we've got our Yu-Gi-Oh and our Magic, which has just taken off. The amount of Magic players locally is unbelievable, it's amazing. We've got our GW stock, as always, with the brand new, we had the Void Shield Generator, that came and went within seconds. We get, yep, GW stuff, still there, still good. We have the Dead Zone, brand new release, Nexus Psy, that's out this weekend. And we've got all of their stuff there, we've got the Dreadball stuff. It's, yeah, we are swimming in Mantic because their rule sets are just so good. What else have we have got? We've got some Judge Dread at the bottom, moving into our board game. Which, after talking to all the local people and what people come in and play and talk about, we think board games are really where it's at at the moment because they're just so much fun. So we've got Talisman, Relic, Zombie Flux for the quick fun card games. Uh, moving over again, we've got Battlestar Galactica, Munchkin. It's one of my personal favourites. Steve Jackson games, they very rarely miss with one of theirs. It's just all good. Ticket to Ride, which for those proper heavy duty gamers, we've got Star Wars X-Wing because everyone loves Star Wars, more Walking Dead stuff, zombie stuff, Dust Tactics, brand new Zombicide, which is new for us. Max just brought it in to show us. It's amazing. We're stocking it. It's so good. And then something we've kind of been working on as a community recently is building up this display case. So let me open it up so we can get some decent shots. Bom, bom, bom. So right. I hope that this model at the top, this, this, this the top, top that is Simon Banner, aka Simon Hobbs, awesome guy, used to be a teacher at ABW and he painted it for one of the competitions in Paul and it's amazing. Ladies of Mary. And then we have Tao done by Andy Mickey, who's one of our locals, he's a reenactor, he plays magic and it looks amazing. Actually I think he used to be a GW employee, so hence the good paint scheme. Then we have Baz's Sanguinary Guard, which I personally love. I just think their wings look amazing. We've got some Vikings done by Max, which have the Noxbox symbol on the shield. How boss is that? We've got Space Marine done by Phil the Alien, who was my best man and just a generally all-round awesome guy. And Kenny, who is very slowly but surely painting the shop's armies for us. He is just a superstar. So we've got his Imperial Knight he did. We've got uh, the first bikers for the starter set. And then we've got a load of Teratons done by Hubbard, who's also my mother. Awesome lady, very keen on her. Uh, Dust Tactics, which I've done myself for my Russian army. And then some more Judge Dredd stuff at the back. So basically we're slowly but surely filling it up with miniatures that all the locals are doing. So guys, if you've done something cool, bring it in so we can put it on display. Awesome. Thanks guys. I'm just going to smile. <laughs>